Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're gonna be doing something a little different, but also not that much different. So today I'm gonna show you how to look expensive on a budget using items from Shein. So I know it's not that difficult to make something look expensive, but I just thought this would be a really fun video to do, especially because it is now spring. You guys are looking for spring outfit ideas and sometimes you just don't wanna break the bank for a quick little fit that you need to wear to brunch or you know, a girl's night out, a girl's day out with your man, whatever, and you just wanna get something real quick and you wanna just, you know, you don't wanna spend too much time, effort, or money on these items. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some outfit ideas that are super affordable. So what I will say is some of the accessories that I'm gonna be pairing with some of these items are not necessarily affordable. So I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression and think that you have to pair affordable items with expensive items just to make them look expensive. That's not the case here at all. I will link down below some similar items. Some items aren't necessarily duped yet or I don't have dupes for them, but I will link down below similar things that you can get the same look, if that makes sense. So with all of that being said, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys are excited. If you want more videos like this, then definitely let me know down below and let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've stepped over a little bit. Also, before we get too into the video, I wanted to mention where this bodysuit is from because I know I'm gonna get a million questions about it. This is from Miss Lola. I was going to link it down below, but it's no longer on their website anymore, so I can't. But they do have a dress version of this shirt if you guys want me to link that. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all know where this bodysuit is from in case I get any questions. And these jeans are from Pretty Little Thing. So here is the very first item we have. This is a gorgeous floral blouse, as you can see. I have this in a extra large, which is a US 12. And as you can see, this is a gorgeous pink blouse. It has all these colors in it. They do have this blouse in like, I wanna say four or five different colors, but I don't really wear pink like that as you guys can clearly see from my videos. So I wanted to step out my comfort zone and get the pink one. I was gonna get the green one or like the cobalt blue one, but I was like, no, no, no. We're gonna step out a little bit. So I got the pink one and it's absolutely gorgeous. It screams spring. So with this, I decided to really go all out and I decided to pair it with these pastel yellow belted pants. These are some of the like highest rated pants on Shein when it comes to like, I don't wanna say formal wear cause it's not formal, but it is like perfect for work wear. It's perfect for if you just wanna look nice and you don't wanna necessarily wear a dress. These are the perfect type of trousers for that look. So as you can see, this is what it's looking like together. You can't really see the yellow that's in the shirt because it's a lot of pink, but I didn't want to do like pink on pink, which would be really, really pretty, but I wanted to kind of like switch it up a little bit and I didn't want to be super matchy-matchy, even though the accessories are going to make this kind of matchy-matchy, but I didn't want to do pink pants because I just didn't want to do all that pink. So this is the look here, and then I'm going to show you the accessories. So here are the accessories that I would pair with this look. This clutch right here is actually from Shein and it's the perfect pink to go with this outfit. I don't have any pink. Like I said, I don't really wear pink like that. So I did have to get me a pink clutch from Shein and I really like this one actually. It's a decent size and it's really plush and soft and it's perfect for the spring because the color is just so vibrant. It does come with a crossbody strap, but I'm not gonna take that out because I'm gonna wear it more like a clutch. And then these heels right here, I got from Amazon. These are a Gian Vito Rossi dupe. And I went on Amazon, y'all, to go back to my order to find these and they are just nowhere to be found. They literally don't exist anymore. So I will link down below where you can get similar dupes of these, but they just don't have the pink. Like this color pink, they just do not have. I looked all over the internet and I'm like, Ugh. of course they wouldn't be on there anymore, but I will try to find another pink heel that would look really good with this look, but these are the shoes I'm gonna be pairing with it. So with this look, if you wanted to jazz it up a little bit more, I have these yellow sunglasses, which are from Lorve, and these are Regal. I showed you guys these in one of my accessories videos, but this would be a really nice little pop on the eye if you wanted to do a pair of sunglasses or reading glasses, whatever you wanna wear. But I just thought that these would be a nice little touch to add to the look if you wanna just make it a little bit more pop, you know, a little bit more out there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this before we moved on to the next look. Okay, so the second look, we're gonna be playing with some more color. So, oh, got a tag stuck to the blazer, okay? So here we have this neon green. It is looking real bright on camera, but this neon green cropped blazer. And as you guys know, green was really big last year. Just really bright colors in general are really big right now. So I decided to go 
for this blazer because I have seen a lot of combinations of colors and prints and things like that. And I wanted to try it out. So this blazer I have in a size large. It is cropped, as you can see. So instead of doing a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts, I wanted to do a skirt. So here we have the skirt. This is a satin midi skirt. You guys know satin skirts have been really big. I have had a few in the past. I didn't really wear them because y'all know I'm not a big skirt girl, but recently I've been getting more comfortable into wearing like skirts and dresses and things. So y'all will see a lot more of that coming up, especially for the spring summer. But this skirt I got in a size medium and it does have a zipper in the back. It doesn't have any stretch, but I do feel like it is true to size because I got a medium and that's my typical size and it fits me really well. If you want it to have a little bit of room, I would recommend sizing up. But other than that, I do think that this is a really nice fit. So, so because the blazer is so bright, I wanted to keep it kind of toned down at the bottom. Even a pair of denim would look really good with this, but I wanted to do black because I want to try something out with a print and also a really bold pop of color to see how it looks. So I'm gonna show you guys those accessories now. So as you can see here, I have a zebra clutch. You probably could have guessed that I was gonna pick some zebra, but I really love this clutch. I got this on AliExpress. Like at this point, it's been almost two years at this point and now they sell it on Shein. So I will link it down below. I'm pretty sure this took like a month to get to me. So now that it's on Shein, you can get it from there. So I will link it down below. But this is really, really nice. I would consider this to be somewhat of a Bottega dupe. The quality is amazing, okay, amazing. And it's actually cheaper on Shein than it was when I got it on AliExpress, so that's a plus two. But this one, this is a bag, okay? This is a bag right here, and I'm never gonna get rid of this bag. I love it. So with this combination, I would probably keep the heels very minimal and just do like a black strappy heel and call it a day. This will be like my pop in a way. And if you wanted to, you could even do like a red lip to kind of add a little bit of spice to the look but i do have another combination that i want to try out so i'm going to show you guys those accessories now okay so as i mentioned with the zebra bag i would possibly do a red lip but then i was like what about red accessories i don't know how this is going to look but i have this red bag which is a part of another outfit in this video this is from shein and then these heels you guys have seen before these are a must have these i would consider to be a tom ford padlock heel dupe and I have these in black, I have these in nude, I have these in red, and I have these in gold, everything. I will have these linked below, but this I would not wear with a strap because it is very casual. I would put the strap inside the bag and then wear this as a little clutch because I feel like that kind of goes more with the outfit than it being a crossbody bag. But if you wanna wear it like that, you definitely can, sis. But personally, I would wanna make it a little bit more dressy, so yeah. This is the other combination I have for look number two. So let me know if you guys like either one, if you would do a combination of the both, let me know down below. Okay, so next up we're gonna move on to look number three. And here we have this white button down. It is a cropped button down. It's like an asymmetrical, y'all see the little, little drop in the front. It's a little asymmetrical. And then it has a pocket right here and then it's just a cropped button down. So this right here, I feel like is the perfect shirt, especially for spring, for a dressy slash casual type of vibe. If you wanted to do this with a pair of high-waisted shorts, it would look really good. If you wanna do it with a pair of jeans, it would look really good. If you wanted to do it with like a satin skirt, like I just showed you in the previous look, it would look amazing. If you wanted to do this with anything on the bottom, this is just gonna kinda make it look a little bit more elevated in a way, but it's still super casual at the same time. So with this look, I have another pair of those trousers to go with it. So I'm gonna show you guys that next. So here are the trousers. As you can see, these are in a navy blue and I have been loving navy blue. It is such a beautiful color. I know it's like super, I feel like navy blue is very underrated, but it's so pretty to me. It's one of the darker colors that doesn't get a lot of love and I actually really love navy. So these are in a size large as well and I wanted to pair it with that cropped top just to kind of like dress it down a little bit, but you can also pair it with a full length button down, which I'll show you in a second. So for this look, I was a little torn when it came to the bags. I have a few white bags here. I guess it completely depends on the vibe you're going for. I don't have like a white tote, but that would also be a perfect bag to throw on with that look. If you wanna make it even more casual, a tote is gonna do that for you. So this is the first bag. This is from Shein as well. I've had this for about a month or so. I just really like the texture on this bag. 
I actually seen this on Amazon as well, so I will link it down below from there as well if you're interested. But they do have this in other colors. So then we have this one here, which you guys have seen in my accessories video. This is a Bottega dupe, which I got from Amazon. I love these bags. They are the closest thing you're gonna get, okay, to a Bottega bag, especially if you don't wanna spend the $3,000 on a Bottega bag. So this right here is the patent leather all white one. So last but certainly not least, we have this bag here. This is from the brand's Awake Mode. And I featured this bag in one of my previous photos from the top of the year with the Paris sweater. I don't know if you guys remember, but this was the bag I had on. So with these bags, I feel like they all are similar in a way as far as the vibe goes, but they're all so different at the same time. So I will have these all linked below in case you're interested in any of these and the vibe that you're going for is similar to this. Or if you have a white bag that you really love, I could have even showed you guys like my white Telfar bag, the tote, or even like the mini crossbody to make it a little bit more casual. That will be perfect as well. But if you have a white bag that you really love that will go with this, definitely wear her, okay? So I don't know which one I'm gonna do, but I will have each one in the try on clip just to see what it looks like. So because I wanted to keep this very casual, as I mentioned, I have these white sandals right here, which are also from Shein. And I wanted to do a white sandal because I don't always wanna wear heels. You know, if you wanna wear a pair of heels, definitely do that. I would recommend either the red heels that I showed you, the strappy one, in white. I feel like a very simple white heel will look perfect, but I'm gonna do a sandal because I know the girlies out there don't always wanna wear a damn heel. It's not very comfortable all the time and you don't wanna just be walking around in a heel. If you do have a heel and you wanna swap out, this will be a good swap out to have in the car, in your bag. If your feet start hurting and you wanna change your shoes, these will be perfect and then, Y'all already know, the Lorvay, these are unbothered. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite pair of Lorvays. I love these. So like I said, if you didn't wanna do the cropped version, you can definitely do a full length version like this one here. This I have in a size extra large because I would want it to be a little slouchy. I would probably roll up the sleeves and just make it look very, very casual. So you can also do this if you don't wanna necessarily do a cropped situation. So I'm gonna try on both of these with the navy blue trousers so you can see the vibe of each look. When I get my button downs, I need them to be oversized, okay? I want to be drowning in it because I just love the way that looks. Obviously not completely drowning, like I'd probably do a little tuck here, a little fold here, just to kind of give myself a little bit more shape. But this is going to be the perfect, perfect top for spring. So next up we have probably one of my favorite looks and you guys are probably gonna be surprised because this is not something I typically wear. But this right here is a white ruched off the shoulder top. So this top I've actually had my eye on for a couple years now at this point. This has been on Shein for a minute and I just love the silhouette of it. I love the look of it. It's very sexy, but it's also very like low key at the same time. So this is just a off the shoulder type of top. It's ruched and it's just so nice. It fits so, so well. They do also have this in other colors now. It's only been white for a minute and I just checked to get the link and it was I wanna say it was a green and a blue, which would be perfect for spring. But this case, for this video, I have the white one, and this I have in a size medium. And with it, I'm going to pair these black dress shorts. So I got these from ASOS. I have been going crazy on the internet trying to find a pair of oversized long line dress shorts. You guys remember in previous videos, I mentioned like I need me a pair of those but all the ones that I would find were like $3,000 because they were like YSL. And I was just like, I don't want to spend that much money on these shorts because I'm not gonna wear them like that. I just wanna do a look with these type of shorts because I really like them. So I ended up finding these on ASOS. Came right through, okay. These are from the Collusion, which is the unisex, or most of their stuff, if not all of their stuff is unisex. So with this look, I didn't wanna be super typical with the accessories and do like a pop of red, even though I would do a pop of red, but just in a different way, which I'll mention in a second. But these shorts with that top and these accessories, I feel like it's gonna eat, okay? Okay, so I can't find the clutch. I don't know where it's at, but these are the heels. So as you can see, they are a pair of cheetah ombre heels. So they go from cheetah to black and I got these on Amazon. I'm not gonna say these are like my favorite pumps in the world, but I feel like they look really good on the feet. I don't really own a lot of pumps because they're just not that comfortable to me. Like a lot of my heels, I feel like I can get away with wearing them for long periodically times. But every time I try on a pair of pumps or even if I've worn a pair of pumps in the past, like years ago, 
I'm just not comfortable. So yeah, that's why I don't have a lot of pumps, but y'all let me know down below if y'all have some pumps that are comfortable, that you love, anything like that, let me know down below because I would love to get me a good pair of black and red pumps. I just need them in my life, but I can't find a good pair. Okay, so I know I said that the last look was my favorite, but y'all this right here, please look at that just beautiful i can't show you the whole thing because it's really long but it is a satin strapless dress y'all this is absolutely gorgeous freaking stunning in the back it does have a elastic strap which i actually really like and then on the inside it is lined with that material that helps it to not slip so this was very thoughtful and i love it this I got in a size medium. And as you can see here, it is a gorgeous cobalt royal blue color. And it just looks so luxe and expensive. And I can guarantee you this was not more than $30, if that. This is gorgeous, y'all. Freaking stunning. I wanna say they have this in other colors, but y'all know, anything cobalt blue, give it to me. Right now, I need it in my life. And I have the perfect shoes that I just showed you guys in a previous accessories video that would eat, eat, E-A-T, capital, okay, with this dress. And I'm sure if you, if you guys watch my videos, you might know, but if you don't, I'm gonna show you. So if you guessed my Renee dupes, then you were absolutely right. These I showed you in a previous accessories video, and I told you that these are basically a spot on, spot on dupe of the Renee heels. I have purchased a pair of authentic Renee's that were like $1,500. And they came with missing stones. The ins inside of the shoe was like peeling or lifting back. I was like, wait a minute, these shoes cost way too damn much to be coming like this. I was so upset, I sent them back and I was like, yeah, not worth it. So then I did some digging on the internet and I found these on DH Gate. I have two pairs of these currently, which I showed you in that video, but I have ordered since then two or three more pairs, a black pair, I can't remember the other two colors, but I do have three currently in transit to me because these are just that good. Like, I swear to you guys, this is like the most spot on dupe I've ever seen in my life. I will have these linked down below. Like I said, the original Renee's are like, they can run you 15 and up. Some of them are a little bit, a little bit cheaper than that, maybe like 1200, but still very expensive. These were like 116, 115, something like that huge difference and you're getting the same quality which is crazy to me so yeah if you have been wanting to get a pair of these and you didn't see my last video please run do not walk okay run do not walk to get these shoes it took about a month to get to me so if you have something coming up that you want to wear these to i don't know if that's a good idea to try to get these and hope that they come in time but if you just want a pair of these to have on hand for occasions and things like that definitely get these so here is the clutch as you can see it is a gorgeous rhinestone royal cobalt blue clutch and in the back it is like a satin kind of looks satiny or metallic and then in the front as you can see it has the rhinestones and then we have these gorgeous earrings that are also blue rhinestones and i feel like these literally look like they basically were made by the same person because they look super identical so with the earrings the clutch the gorgeous blue dress and the Renee's or the Renee dupes, excuse me, amazing. So in this video, I wanted to have different outfits for different types of occasions. Maybe like if you wanted to go on a date night, this would be the perfect like girl, the perfect look. This will be so gorgeous. If you wanted to wear this as like a birthday look, that would be stunning as well. So I feel like these outfits, you can kind of tailor to your lifestyle and what you do and just kind of make it work for you. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have different, different styles in this video, but everything very like elevated, elegant, classy, nice, you know, that kind of vibe. So yeah, this is gonna be a look y'all. I cannot wait to show y'all the try on. Y'all will see it over here as I'm talking anyways, but yeah, this is gonna be a look. So next up, we have us another semi-casual, but also a little dressy type of look. So this body, or it's not a bodysuit, excuse me, this mesh top is from the Motif. I believe it's M-O-T-F collection on Shein. And if you guys know anything about that collection, it's typically more expensive, although it's not like crazy expensive. 
It's a little bit more expensive because they use different fabrics, probably higher quality, obviously. So it's gonna cost a little bit more, which is fine because at least you're getting somewhat of your money's worth. But this I got in a size large. As you can see, it is cream. It kind of gives like zebra print, but it's cream, this really pretty lime green, this brown, and then orange. And I really loved the colors in this top. So although with this look, I wanted to keep it casual because I am going to be wearing a pair of jeans. I also kind of wanted to elevate it a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys the jeans that I would pair with this. So these jeans right here are from Zara. And these are one of my favorite pairs of jeans that I've gotten from Zara this year. I have quite a few. Zara has been doing the damn thing, y'all. If you guys want a spring Zara haul with like really fun, bright colors, dresses, that kind of vibe, then definitely give this video a huge thumbs up or comment down below. But these... I love these jeans so much that I took them to the tailor sis to get them taken in and now they're just even more perfect than they were before. These are a split hem pair of jeans and it has like a nice little split hem. It's not too long. So these I got in a US 10 and I just got them taken in in the back because I've noticed with the US 8 when it comes to Zara, it's either a hit or a miss. So I got a 10 to give me a little extra room and then I just got them taken in, but these are perfect. I have these in black, which I've also gotten taken in because I love these so much. But these jeans with that bodysuit, and I'm gonna show you the shoes and the bag. Okay, so this is the bag. This bag right here is from Shein as well. And this bag was really highly rated on Shein. They have this in white and black. I'm pretty sure the white one sold out, which is the one that I was also gonna get for this video, but it sold out before I could check out, girl. So this one right here just goes perfectly with my Hanifa boots. So y'all know, y'all know, I love my Hanifa boots. These are probably, my favorite pair of boots ever. I have them in black. I have them in the bone color here, as you can see. And in my last video, I got them in silver and I feel like my life is complete. If they ever drop any more colors, I'm getting them all. I just need these in my life. They're so comfortable and they're like very, very unique. Like I feel like when you see this boot, you know it's Hanifa. So as you can see, these are the sunglasses. These are like a pair of rusty orange cat eye sunglasses. I just think it would bring out the orange a little bit in this shirt. So if you wanted to do a pair of sunglasses, I think these would be a good pair. These are from, I've had these for ages. These were actually sent to me, in my PO box when I lived in Texas. These are from the brand Accessorize. I don't know if these are even still available, but I feel like this would look really good with this. And I'm sure they're not available anymore. So I will link down below a similar pair or any pairs that I think will look good with this outfit, I will link below. But yeah, this look is one of my faves. And we have two more looks, y'all, okay? Two more looks, so let's get to it. Okay, so I feel like the easiest way to look expensive on a budget is to do a blazer. Doesn't matter how much the blazer costs you, as long as you iron that baby, it's gonna look good. So that's one of the tips that I wanted to mention in this video. When it comes to making Shein or anything affordable look expensive, you need to iron it. Okay, you need to iron it, you need to steam it, you need to get the wrinkles out because that automatically is gonna make you look cheap. You know, you wanna make sure that your clothes look pressed and like you look very clean cut and well put together. So all of these clothes in this video that you guys are seeing, I iron them or I steam them before this video because y'all know, Shein stuff comes wrinkled as hell, okay? Like, like they literally just balled it up and put it in the bag. It'd be so wrinkly, it's ridiculous. So, steam it, iron it, whatever you gotta do to get the wrinkles out, throw it in the dryer, whatever. But just do not be walking around wrinkled. Girl! Anyways, so this blazer right here is a cropped blazer. It's gray, I got this in a large, and it does have like, it's not cargo pockets, but it has like this flap that kind of gives it this edgy vibe. And then this is the back. And as you can see, it has this string wrapped around it because you can tie it around your waist and do like a strappy look, which is what I love about this blazer. I feel like that's what gives it a little bit of edge. I'm that girl who wants to look dressy, but also edgy sometimes. So this right here is a really, really nice blazer. And with this, I will keep it very simple at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you guys the pants. All right, so these pants right here don't really look like much on the hanger, but these are a pair of split hem pants. And instead of it being on the side, the split hem is in the front, which you cannot see, but it's right there in the front, which I love. I love that look for more like, 
formal dressier type of outfits. I feel like the heel popping out the front like that just looks so good. So these I got from the tall section on Shein. If you guys didn't know, they have a petite and they have a tall. Best thing they could have ever done because every time I would get a pair of bottoms, they would literally be high water as hell on me. And I'm like, I can't do this. For a long time, I was not even buying bottoms on Shein because I was like, I know they're not gonna fit. But now that they have the tall section, these fit me perfectly. And with this look, I would of course do silver accessories. So I have a couple of bag options and then y'all probably already know the heels cause they are my babies. So I'm gonna show you guys those. So these are the two bag options. This right here, you guys seen in a recent accessories video. And this right here, I got like some months ago, probably a little bit late last year. This right here is a clutch from Miss Lola. I don't think it's available anymore, but they have so many clutches like this on the internet, honestly. So I will link some similar clutches down below. So if you wanna continue the theme of being like super edgy, this is gonna be your girl right here. This is gonna be the option that I would choose and probably what I'm gonna choose for this video. But this one right here, if you wanna keep it a little bit toned down and you wanna just make it a little dressy, you wanna have a little, you know, a little situation, this is gonna be perfect for you as well. And I'm pretty sure you guys already know the shoes. So these are the heels. These are a silver pointed toe heel and they have a lace up strap around the ankle. I really wish I would have bought two pairs of these, but I didn't know one that silver was going to be as big as it is this year. It is super trendy. You guys, I'm sure you guys know this already, but I love these shoes so much and I didn't know how much I was going to love them. And by the time I started to like post these and wear them and stuff like that, they were already gone. And I was like, dang, I'm never going to find me a pair of silver heels like this. If you guys have any, please let me know down below. But these right here, they're a little beat up. Okay, they're a little beat up. I do have the Hanifa mules. So if you wanna wear those, or if you have those, that is a good option as well. I will put the photo up over here. But these right here are my go-to silver heels. They look good with everything, everything y'all. And they're comfortable. So these are the heels that I would do with that look. And then of course, like some silver jewelry, very dainty, nothing too gaudy, nothing too crazy. And yeah, we're gonna move on to the very last look. I know you guys are like, girl, this video a little long, but I wanted to give y'all a lot of looks. Okay, so let's move on to the last look. So this look right here, we have this long sleeve mesh top. And as you can see, it is a floral print. Y'all know I don't really do floral. It's not that I have anything against it, but I can't ever really find a floral print that I actually like because I'm not like super girly. So floral print just doesn't appeal to me as much as like the next person. But when I saw this, I felt like it was kind of up my alley. It's, I don't know. It's very me as far as the colors go. So I think that's what drew me to it. But I feel like I can do this. I feel like this isn't too much. So with this, I got it in a large. And as you can see, it's a mesh material. I don't know if you can see in the front, but it is like ruched. And with this, I'm going to, of course, play with the blue. As you can clearly see right there, the pants hanging out. But I'm going to show you guys the pants. So for this look, I actually had two different pairs of pants, but I cannot find the other pair of pants. So they were both cobalt blue. One was a fitted pair. It was the exact same pants that I paired with this gray blazer, just in cobalt blue. And they were skinny leg and they have the slit in the front. And with this pair, as you can see, they do have more of a flared leg. So I wanted to show two different options in case you were interested in more of a flared leg because I feel like that could also go with the vibe of this look. But I will personally choose the split hem pant because those look really good. Like I love the whole like fitted look versus it being fitted and then flared at the bottom personally. But these are also from the tall section. I got these, I wanna say in a medium. And like I said, they are in the tall section. I feel like these look a little short. They're not looking very tall but we'll see how it looks when I try on the heels. But with this, of course, I would do red accessories, one of which you've already seen in this video. So I'm gonna show you those next. Okay, so we are back with the red Nine West heels. Y'all already know, these are literally perfect. I cannot say enough about these shoes. If you want a Tom Ford dupe or if you're just looking for a pair of heels like this, these are it. That's all I'm gonna say, all right? And this clutch right here I got from Etsy. It's a seller who makes these oversized pouch bags. I guess you could consider this to be like a Bottega dupe. I believe this is also real leather as well. It's very plush. It literally <laughs> is so soft and supple. I can literally ball it up. But this right here is one of my favorite red clutches. They are 
under a hundred bucks. I don't know if she's raised the price since I bought this. When I purchased this, it was like 80 bucks. I don't know if she raised the price, but I will have a link down below and I will also have a more affordable red. <clears throat> I will have this one linked below, of course, and I will also have a more affordable version something similar down below as well that will look really good with this outfit but these are the accessories for the last look and this is also one of my favorites especially with the skinny split hem pant versus the flared but yeah this is the look y'all i love this look but this is the very last look we have in today's video all right you guys that was the very last look i had in today's video definitely let me know if you enjoyed it comment down below your favorite look in today's video give it a huge thumbs up i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know if you want more videos like this. I know I've done like outfit idea videos or lookbook type videos and it's more of like a voiceover. You just see the outfits and all of that. But if you like the talk through and like the clothing rack situation, it could look a little bit better. I had it set up, but y'all, it's really hard to make this look really nice. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. If you want a part two, let me know. If you want any particular themes for this type of video then also let me know as well maybe like date night or birthday or casual you know what i mean brunch day party any type of location or occasion you want me to include in these types of videos let me know and once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so so much be sure to follow your girl on instagram i'm going to be more active on there like I said in my last video, I have had a lot going on behind the scenes, y'all. And I'm going to share it with you very, very soon because it is very exciting and it's been taking up a lot of my time. So I hope you guys are excited. Follow me over there because that's probably where I will announce it first. But with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.